Yup Plays! Hello Internet and welcome back to another episode of Yup Plays Metal Dead. In the last video we made it all the way up to the CEO's office. He's an old British man who's completely crazy and is threatening to shoot us. So let's watch. Get your hands in the air, I mean it. After I put you out of your misery, I'm heading to the penthouse and I'll blow it all away. So, if I'm gonna die, then it won't matter if you tell me where you hid the penthouse key, right? True. Very true. I hid it behind the satellite dish. Satellite dish, huh? That's right. Now shut up, stay right there, and prepare to die. Alright, well first, let me save, sir. Thank you, sir. Here's a... There's an explosive jar here. Zombies here. This guy's thinking about shooting me or not. I've got a guitar and a lighter. Can I lighter in this? Yep. Okay, buddy. Hey! What the hell have you done? Uh-oh, I opened that door on him. Wow, you suck at shooting. Why was I even worried? Ah! Wow, he jumped out. They both jumped out. Splat! Oh. <laughs> awesome, actually. And I got a free bath. Nice. And a gun! Are you okay back there? I thought we were done for. We're fine. My car, on the other hand, is gonna cost a fortune to get her repaired. Your car was already an immense pile of crap before we totaled it. You take that back. And what do you mean, we? I thought you said I crashed her. Oh. Yeah, so I did. Anyway, moving on. Hmm. We need to find that penthouse key. Before he went for a stroll out the window, the CEO said he hid it behind the satellite dish. I suppose we should start looking there then. I can't think of a better place. Give me the gun! Heck yes! Hmm, there's one bullet left. I have to choose what I want to shoot wisely. Let me see this gun. Awesome! Can threaten people with it, I guess. That's one heck of a drop! The CEO had impeccable aim, he landed right on Ronnie's car. There's a smoke detector all the way up there on the ceiling. I guess I was supposed to notice that before I did all this, but I was just doing stuff. Whatever, man. That went way better than expected. Let's save and go down to try and see what's in that uh, satellite dish, which is hopefully the key to the penthouse. And then we'll be up in the penthouse and everything will be awesome. Probably. <coughs> what is it now? We have stuff to do, can't it wait? All right, all right. I will strip the flesh from your bones. Oh, jeez, not this again. My army will destroy you. My rows of teeth will grind you into dust, bro. Who are you? What are you? You'll never escape. Enjoy your ignorance while it lasts, pathetic worm. Hey, now. It's time, my minions! Attack! That didn't sound good. It didn't feel too good, either. My brain feels violated. We must be on the right track. Whatever that thing is, it doesn't want us going any further. All the more reason to keep it up, right? I hope we're not in over our heads. Just about everything is over my head. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Let's just find that penthouse key and figure out what's going on here before my brain gets raped again. Yeah, let's. Get to that lobby. How's it going, guys? I guess I need to shoot this thing, right? Let's look at it. The chandelier's hanging by a thread. Won't take much to knock it down. Can I maybe just electric guitar it down? Can't reach up there with the guitar. Man, I would like pick up a chair and throw it or something. I wouldn't waste a bullet, but I know that's what it wants me to do, so I'll just do it. Sorry, everybody, don't get mad. One chandelier, one bullet, here goes nothing. Ha <laughs> ha nice. That went better than expected. And no one cared? I thought for sure that cop was gonna come over here and cuss me out. All right, there's a satellite dish. There's a satellite dish on top of the model building. Oh, there's the key. 
So this is where the CEO hid the penthouse key. That sneaky bastard. Yes. Nice. Cutscene. Uh oh. They got in the front door. Uh oh. Oh frick. I hope Alice doesn't die. Come on guys, let's go. Get back, Ken! Get back, you idiot! Dang it, out of bullets! Rawr! Oh my god, Ken's dead. That one's wearing awesome sunglasses. There's a clown one! No, Alice! Ah! Oh my gosh. This sucks! I liked her! We gotta get in that elevator and like now. Crap, crap, crap! Dude, you gotta do something, Malcolm. You can't just look around. Elevator! Oh my gosh. Move it, elevator! Hurry up! Yeah, get up, get up in the thing. See, at least he was thinking. Only one down there. We'll be alright. <laughs> it's a blind one. <laughs> it's another one of those exploding guys. He could pop at any second. Oh great, this is where it let us out. Uh. Yeah, walk right there. Yes, perfect. Good job. Good dog. Oh no! Boom. Wow. Oh my gosh, a whole floor of the building. Things are getting intense. I think we may be in trouble. Oh no. Ah, oh, look at Ronnie's hair. Ah! This sucks. I hope they don't die. Hello? You guys okay? Whoa, where are we now? The door's still open. Well, that was exceptionally unpleasant. Oh, he didn't look too good. <laughs> Actually, now he looks just fine. You are so lucky, dude. Are we dead? Yes. Well, at least one of us is. Can we go back to the top and do it again? It was kind of fun. Would it hurt to show a little respect? Ken and Alice just died up there, and you're making light of the situation. Sorry, Mal. I didn't mean to... Just stop, will you? Achievement unlocked. Elevator proof. That really sucks. I kind of thought for a little bit that Alice was going to be our, like, sweetheart, and we'd get to come out of here with her. Oh, what is that? I don't need whatever that is. Okay, well, I thought maybe you did. No, that can't be what I think it is. What is it? It is. A copy of Black Bird of Black... <laughs> it's a copy of Backyard Abortion's finest album, Crippling Death Stench. This album is a classic. Or at least it's far superior to their lamentable follow-up, Lubricant and Coat Hangers. How the hell did this CD get down here? There's no way I'm just going to leave it sitting there. Nice. What is that? I don't feel like getting wet, besides I didn't bring my galoshes. Can I look at this? It's a wide-mouthed sewage pipe. I guess these are the remnants of the bodies that Ken and Officer Stewart were chopping up and flushing down the jaw. Oh, is that what they were doing? Oh, we didn't see Officer Stewart. I bet he survived. He's kind of a bad ASS. I'm looking at the map, but it's not making any sense in correlation with the Metagenetech building. It must have been sent to the wrong address. There's only one door in this room, and it's up those stairs. I don't think I'll need a map to guide me there. Well, shut up. I try to take everything. That's how games work. Alright, there's a stick holding up this vent. The stick is holding up the catchment grate. Do I need to take it? Whoever left this vent open didn't really do a good job. What is that going to do? It's just going to pile up a bunch of body parts, right? Five minutes later. Caught a few chunks. Hopefully no one upstairs needs to flush anything hefty. Or this place is going to be mighty messy. So it's catching all this stuff. That's a nice collection of body chunks. But I have no interest in carrying them around. Okay, so why did I even do all that? Let's go up the stairs. Let's go up the stairs. Okay, there's some zombies up here, so I'm going to save. 
There's a zombie in a suit. It looks like they can't get to me. They're behind a barricade. All right, and that's the lobby. Can I look at these guys? They're blocking the way. It seems there's undead all the way up the stairs. I'll need to find a way to clear them all out. Is this the lobby here? This door is nailed up on the other side. I'm gonna have to put my weight into it. <laughs> that's it. Oh, he did it. That looked kind of dorky. Oh crap, they're all over the place. There's Ken and Alice. Oh my gosh. I'd better be really quiet after all I've been through. It'd be an anti-climax if I died here. Yes, it would. Can we look at Alice? Poor Alice. She was such a nice girl. She didn't deserve to have her guts ripped out. How about Ken? Oh man, it's Ken. He's very interested in the carpet. <laughs> Here's that freaking clown one that sprinted and killed our girlfriend. I hate clowns. That said, in a different situation, he might be kind of funny. I'm lucky those guys are always distracted. This guy looks like he's in desperate need of a meal. And it's not going to be me. Okay, that speaker is out here. And I know there was a console in the security office that controlled the music. So I think we can go in there, plug the guitar in, shred it up, kill all these guys. We'll see. I hope we can. Good God in heaven. You should not be alive, soldier. Excuse me? Uh, sorry? Don't be sorry. I heard that elevator fall. I thought you were mince meat for sure. You must be made of sterner stuff after all. Thanks? There's no time for thanks! We need to clear that lobby out. In fact, how'd you get in here without those bastards noticing you? I'm light on my feet. You must be a bona fide ballerina! That's what you are. A ballerina. Right? No. Those pathetic security guards, they were completely useless. If only they were more like me, we wouldn't be stuck in this situation. Alice and Ken did their best. Have some respect for... Well, la dee da If you'd been out there backing them up, they might have survived. Don't put the blame on me, soldier. Everyone's accountable for their own actions. It's not my fault they weren't up for the job. A-hole. Care to repeat that, soldier? Yeah, you suck. I'm gonna go in here. Bye. Oh, -ho! she's all over him and he doesn't like it, but he's allowing it. Hey, this guy's up. What's up, buddy? Are you ready to fly us out of here? You betcha. That's it. That's the whole conversation. You've been passed out the entire game and that's all you have to say. You betcha. I don't even know what your voice is. Sorry to bother you, Dana, but we'll be leaving soon. As long as I have my David, I don't care where we go. I can tell you're ready to leave. What tipped you off? I'm good at reading people. Don't worry, we'll be out of here soon. Okay, here's what we do. This is gonna work. What, what was what was this key? Oh, the key to get us a penthouse. We'll finally find out what evil lies beyond. I forgot we were even doing that. We either need to play a guitar solo over the intercom or play the CD. I'm guessing it's a CD. The guitar will probably be used in the final battle. Check this out, though. Let's see if the undead are metal fans. Here we go. The same song. They're all just looking at the speaker. They're just leaving. I gotta remember that for the zombie apocalypse. They just don't like it. Bye, Alice. I'll miss you. I guess not. Heh <laughs> And now we get to listen to metal the whole time. It still blows my mind that this guy was passed out asleep the entire game. He wakes up and is just like, Yep, ready to go. la dee da Uh, stop wasting time, soldier. We need to get out of here pronto. All right. You've been standing in this hallway for an hour, but I'm wasting time. Getting crap done. At least now we got a cooler song. Is there anything over here I need to get? Oh yeah, I wonder if... Uh, oh, they're still over here. We can still get down here though. Man, they're in here now. He closed up shop. God, I hope he's okay. They get in here too? No, they didn't. 
Randy's not here, but he left a note. It reads, Gone to restock. Don't steal anything while I'm gone. This gate is shut tight. There's no way I'm going to get it open. Well, okay. Gone to restock. I want Randy to stay alive. What's with that? Since when was there a bedroll over here? It's Ken's makeshift bed. Oh, I guess it was there the whole time. I just don't remember it. Okay, let's go to the penthouse. We're going to find out. Oh, right. I guess we're not going to go to the penthouse. I'm not going anywhere near the shaft. It looks deadly in there. That's what she said. Okay, so we got to take the stairs, which means I got to find a way to kill these zombies. Derp. And all I've got left is my guitar. If I had an amplifier, maybe I'd be able to play a metal tune and clear these guys out, but I don't. So what am I going to do? So since the elevator's broken and this is blocked, there's really nowhere else we can go. I went to the office. I went to the lobby. We can't go in the elevator shaft. I didn't go in the bathroom. Let's go in the bathroom. How are you guys doing? We're good. Alright, what can I do? Oh, hey! Hey, it's Randy! Dang, those beans really cleaned me out. Don't flush those chunks. The sewage system's black. And he flushed it. That don't sound none too good. Whoa. We just flooded the freaking basement. What the heck? Are we flooding the entire build? Oh, we flooded the whole stairwell. <laughs> we flooded the entire stairwell and then it flushed again. Oh, man. First Ken, then Alice, now Randy. The way we're going, there won't be anyone left to save. Tragic, I know. But on the bright side, it sounds as though the stairway's been cleared out. Maybe we should head up to the penthouse. Let's get out of here before anyone else dies. For real, man. Ugh, all my favorite characters died. That sucks. Hey, stupid zombies. Hey, here's everybody. The stairwell's clear. I don't know how a weird little son of a bee like you does it, but you're one hell of a soldier. All right, sweethearts. You heard the man, and you know the drill. Uh-oh. The heavy metal's failing. We gotta go now, guys. Get moving, people! Yeah, seriously, let's go. All right, guys, I had to stop that one right there. This is getting intense. There's only one more video left in Metal Dead, so I'm very excited to show you guys that one. Come back for the next one, and we'll find out how this amazing game ends. Thank you so much for watching this video, and as always, have a bye five.